Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see here, I'm going to be commenting on the October 21st, which is tomorrow, our Planet X, as this false prophet from the Roman Catholic Church is predicting, will hit the planet tomorrow. He states this on his website. And I'm not going to go there because his website is nothing more than just him selling his books. That's all he's doing this for. This is one of the reasons for his popularity, to make money. Anyway, he says this, the actual event of the beginning of the tribulation occurs on October 15th. That's when the action starts. Hold on and watch. Wait until the middle of October, and I don't believe you'll be disappointed. Well, as we all know, this man predicted the end of the world on September 23rd, and it obviously failed, as students of prophecy predicted. And just 24 hours before it was expected to fail, he quickly admitted to all the subscribers that he made a mistake and then changed the date for the end of the world, or the so-called start of his seven-year tribulation to October 15th. Well, it's now October 20th like four o'clock in the afternoon on the East Coast anyway. And we're obviously still here. And since his proven Jesuit contrived false prophecy of a seven year tribulation was only capable of starting when that so-called secret rapture, which was also invented by the Jesuits, was supposed to occur. And as we all know, everyone is pretty much still here with the exception of the normal birth and death rate of planet Earth since day one. And speaking of planets, David Mead also predicted a massive planet who some believe to be, you know, around the size of our solar system, while others believe it to be a mere 80 times the size of Jupiter, which happens to be 11 times greater than Earth, and the largest planet in our solar system. Well, being that it's October 20th, and he's saying it's supposed to hit tomorrow, and besides the fact that none of David Mead's prophecies have absolutely any biblical basis, in fact, or even historic for that matter, let's humor him for a moment and assume that a massive planet will hit us tomorrow. Well, if that were true, and if we use common sense, as afforded most of us who can actually read, this entire solar system would have ceased to exist decades, if not centuries ago, if a planet that size had been close enough to hit us tomorrow. The gravitational pull alone would have destroyed everything from the sun to Pluto long before anyone would have even known that that planet was out there. Oh, and by the way, notice the confusion in this man. His website's covered with words like possible, maybe, perhaps, and could be. He can't lock down a single prophecy because he has no clue. So he's trying to convince you by his own lack of understanding. And notice this big snafu that he missed. He's saying the tribulation for the seven years began five days ago. And then he's also saying tomorrow the entire planet's going to be destroyed by another planet. Well, what happened to the seven years? So even he can't figure out what he's talking about. And so again, I plead with everyone hitting the videos about October 21st or Planet X or Nobiru. All of you that are filled with this fear about the end of the world, open your Bibles and discover the promised peace that Jesus Christ was speaking of for those that accept him for who he is. And this is as Lord or King and Savior. Because when you allow the lies of Satan, the dying God of this world, to have any say-so in your lives, well then fear, which also comes from Satan, is going to be your just deserts. Thank you for watching. God bless.